We shall see. This will be kind of a little surprise. Hey guys. So as I was trying to clean up my puzzle room, I realized that not only did do I have like a pile of empty boxes sat in a corner, but near that pile, I have developed quite another pile of actual puzzles here. Now hit that like button if you're like me and you tend to get piles of em empty boxes or, you know, puzzle boxes stacking up in random places throughout the house. I've been so busy recently that I haven't just had the time to break down these boxes and, and get rid of them. But anyways, I'm going to be taking care of that today. So I figured, you know what, why not, you know, take it out of that corner and share them with you. So the first one that I want to share with you guys is a package that I received for another collaboration. And this company is called Playview Brands Puzzles. And they've been around for over 20 years and represent a line of different puzzle brands. They also carry Enigma art puzzles and key puzzles. Key Kai? I hope I said that right. I most likely got that wrong. But anyway, let's open up this box very carefully without, you know, slicing my hand open. And let's see, I don't actually remember which ones I requested, but we shall see. This will be kind of a little surprise. All right. Ooh. Oh, this is cute. So we have a small one here. Actually, we have two small 100 piece count puzzles. And the first one here is called, I don't actually think it has a name, but the artist looks to be Karen Burke. This is 100 pieces. And this is one of their 10 minute puzzles. And this image is really cute. Look, you got little chicks trying to learn how to swim. That's probably the concerned mother hen, you know, hoping nothing happens to her babies. This is super cute. And then we have another 10 minute puzzle here. And this one is actually Playview branded. That's interesting. Now this puzzle doesn't have a name to it, but I already know what this is. This one's called Mandy and her coffee. And look, there's my cat right there too. You know that's me. Actually, there must be something wrong with me here. I don't wear earrings that big. There must be something in that coffee, I don't know. That coffee's making me do strange things. But anyways, this is gonna be some real quick, good fun. I'm really excited to try these and see what the quality is like. The next puzzle that we have here is called Ben's Confectionery. The artist is Rosalind Solomon. It is 550 pieces and it is 24 by 18 inches when it's completed. Now, from what I see here, there's also a poster included in this box, so that's great. And you know I'm crazy about this image. I mean, look at us. We're, we're, we're at a bakery. There I am with my daughter, you know, picking some pastries and stuff. They have some good looking food in these cases. I came to the right place. I can imagine it's probably a bit loud in here too because of all the children, but you know, that's okay. I won't be here for long. Actually, is that a girl or is that a doll? She looks a little strange. She don't, she don't look all right. Anyways, this image looks like it's gonna be so much fun to put together. And I'm really excited to try this new brand as well. I haven't gotten puzzles from different brands in a while, so this is exciting. And ooh, this is nice. The next one we have here is called Midnight in San Francisco. It's 1,000 pieces and it is 27 inches by 20 inches when it's completed. And this is also from Key Puzzles, Kai Puzzles. Now I absolutely love the colors in this image. For one, I've never been to San Francisco, so this is definitely a, you know, a go-to vacation for me. I don't know, it might not look this colorful and fun in real life, but you know, who knows? This would definitely get me excited to go there. It's hard for me to decide which house I would pick to buy here. It would probably be the yellow one in the middle here because, you know, there's a nice pie on the window. I do love to bake, but who knows? I could live in each of these houses. They're all beautiful. I love the artwork here. This is so adorable. And then the last one from this company is called Amalfi Sunset. It is 300 pieces and it's 21 by 21 inches when it's completed. And the artist is Reed James. And again, we have a beautiful image here. I don't think there's anything more beautiful than a sunset. And this town looks beautiful. I'm just visiting. But again, the use of colors, the artwork, this is beautiful. So this is exciting. I'm really looking forward to trying all these puzzle sets and seeing what I think about them. Now, the next puzzle that I have here, I actually picked up from Walmart recently. 
and this is too exciting even though it's like from Seiko, which is, you know, not the greatest brand, but still it's the image. It's the image that did it for me. This one is called Disney 100th Celebration. It is 1000 pieces and it is from Thomas Kincaid Studios Disney 100 collection. And it's 26.6 by 19 inches when it's completed. Now, again, do I really have to explain why I bought this even though it is a Seiko? I mean, come on, for one, Disney is celebrating their 100th anniversary. Why would I pass up an image like this, especially since it's one of Thomas and Kate Studios' newest images? I'd love to be celebrating with them. This is a huge party. We got Mickey Minnie, we have all the friends here, we even got Clarabelle in the background. I'm so in love with this image, but I do know just by looking at it that this is probably going to be quite difficult for me to complete because for some reason I struggle with putting together Thomas Kincaid images. But you know what? Once they're all done, they're so worth it and they're so beautiful. The next puzzle that I have here is also a Seiko puzzle, but this one was sent to me by Kathy. And this one is called Mickey and Minnie in Hawaii. It is 750 pieces. And for some reason, I can't seem to find the dimensions on the box. But anyways, as I said, this is from Seiko and it is from Disney's Thomas Kincaid Studios. And you know that I seriously want to be in this image here because for one, the beach looks amazing. We got Mickey, Minnie and friends here. We're just going to have an awesome time at the beach. I seriously need to go to Hawaii. One of my bucket list items is to go stay at the Alani Resort, which is Disney's resort in Hawaii. But yeah, that'll probably never happen. And then the next two puzzle sets that I have here were both sent to me by Christy. And this one is called Morning Brew, A Coffee World Tour. The artist is Cynthia Cliff. It is 500 pieces and it's 24 by 18 inches when it's completed. And this is by the True South Puzzle Company. Now this is great because not only have I you know, never tried a puzzle from this brand, but I've actually never heard of it. So, you know, this is going to be really interesting. But I already absolutely love this image because you know me and coffee. I go to bed at night thinking about my morning coffee and breakfast too. I look forward to that stuff. But we have a lovely collage here, coffee cups from all over the world. Look, we even got some bacon slices. I mean, yeah, of course. And it's probably going to make me very hungry when I put it together, but you know what? This is really cool. And then the other set that Christy sent me was another, I've tried the brand before, but I've never tried this particular collection. So this is gonna be really interesting. And this one is called, I don't actually know what this one's called. I don't see a name. But anyways, it is 500 pieces and I don't know what the dimensions are, but that's okay. What I do know and what is very interesting about this is this is from Buffalo Games Blanc collection. And some of you have actually mentioned this collection to me. So I'm really looking forward to checking out the quality and, you know, having the whole puzzling experience with it. And I love this image because we just have a whole bunch of ingredients here. So you know we're going to be making something good out of this. I'm really hungry now. But anyways, thank you Christy and thank you Kathy for these puzzle sets. I've, you know, been on a bit of a, a break for the last few weeks. So I haven't really gotten down to working on another puzzle since the Haunted Mansion. So I'm really excited to finally, you know, get started on something new and more colorful. And, you know, hopefully I can do that as soon as I get my room cleaned up. Now that I've opened up this, this box, I can get rid of this now and, you know, put this in my to-do pile. So be on the lookout for those videos coming out very soon. The next challenge that I have is making some more space on my shelf to fit in these new sets, which is fun. I do love organizing my puzzle shelves. So here's to hoping that I do it nice enough so that it looks good and organized. But anyways, guys, let me know down below if you've tried any of these puzzle brands or collections and let me know what you think to them. And if you're looking for a place to share your own puzzle hauls with other puzzlers and myself, 
I do have a puzzling community that you can join. And I'm gonna leave a link to that video down below if you're interested. And be sure you're subscribed if you wanna see me put these puzzles together and hear what I have to say about them. Anyways guys, I hope you're all doing well and that you're enjoying the beautiful fall season. Special thank you to Christy and Kathy again and to every single one of you for all your support and I will see you in the next one.